Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 October 2018 update. We're really getting closer and closer to that moment in time where we're going to have the official build so of course still no watermark on the bottom right. It's interesting because if you remember uh, if you've been an insider for a while you probably remember that often there were like days or you know like builds were released sometimes with a watermark sometimes no watermark uh, this is the third build without a watermark so uh, this is uh, kind of interesting and I think we're you know really getting very very close so this week two builds three if you count that there's a skip ahead so uh, kind of interesting to see that um, if you look at the Windows version what version are we at we are of course at uh, version 1809 and it's build 17755.1. This is the uh, the official build for uh, the uh, October 2018 update. Of course, you know, no new features. I could probably use this and say, hey, this is what we are getting and do a full review of the October 2018 update already. But, it, you know, we'll wait for that moment where we pretty much are sure that it's official. Uh, so, um, of course, no new features. Uh, the install went well, had no problems. Um, typical time of install, you know, with the um, preparation phase and then the um, the um, install itself, which is about 30 minutes of, of not using the PC. Um, been very stable. It's been working since, uh, it's been working for the past six, seven hours, constantly doing a lot of things. I've got no no complaints, nothing to to really talk about it. it it is working and it is working well so um i've got really no issues um of course lots of bug fixes once again in this build uh, maybe a little less than usual because the other build was very quick it was on wednesday uh new features well i wanted to talk a little bit more about microsoft edge i mean uh microsoft is trying to push uh forward this build this you know um this browser if you wish and that's interesting because i mean um this is a browser that uh for windows 10 is not really very popular it's not working very well for most of uh people they're you know going to use google chrome or they're going to use um, uh, you know something else most of you are going to use chrome of course um, but you know it's it's an interesting browser it's it's getting there but but what's maybe the biggest problem I would see with it is the fact that there's no features that are like, yeah, well, I want to use this browser, you know, something that would say, hey, I want to use this browser. This is a fantastic browser. There's nothing that will push you there. Although, you know, uh, it's PDF reading capabilities with annotations, it's ebook capabilities. Uh, they've done an interesting job in making this menu a little better. It's still maybe not what we would like to have, honestly. Um, I wish maybe there's still, you know, some work to do. And once again, I think one of the biggest problems of why this browser is not working is they, they did a mistake in, in keeping the blue E. Everybody thinks this is Internet Explorer, honestly. Uh, the majority of people think that it's that the menus are well you know uh, done they kind of you know used the menus and pushed things a little uh, it's less compressed if you want and I, I kind of like that kind of like that um, some of the interesting capabilities is that I like is uh, for example the show definitions in line for you know books um, reading view and PDF files that's uh, simply highlighting one of the words in a uh, you know, a book, for example, and you will actually have a pop-up that's going to show you and tell you, oh, yeah, this is, um, this word means that. Uh, so if you have a, a text and you have a word that you're not sure what it means, it's kind of nice to have these features, actually. Honestly, it's, it's not bad to have these features at all. Um, so kind of interesting. Of course, uh, for the rest, um, it's... A browser you know uh, I mean 
it, it, they're, they're working on it they're trying to make it different better but unfortunately i think it's too late and it's sad because when you think about the fact that the browser itself can be um you know synchronized with your mobile device so if you use edge on a android phone you can sync all that information and you can send a page that you're reading to to later view here on your um your pc uh, you know continue where you left off features it's, it's kind of nice the synchronous the, the synchronization of continue where you left off is nice you know i turn on another pc and i immediately see what i was doing the the last few um you know the last few websites that i visited they're popping up and they're saying hey that, that's what you were doing on that other machine before so uh, kind of interesting flash player that you know still there you're still using adobe flash player if you want it but slowly this like google chrome you know they're slowly trying to remove all of that the uh, media auto play is nice i kind of like the fact that you know i've blocked it now and i actually leave it blocked i really like the fact that ads are not auto playing so if i go to you know for example one website that annoys me a lot is cnet CNET is one of the websites that I like the information they have, but they always have that automatic player of a video of something that they have done that starts automatically. And it's annoying because sometimes you don't want to have a video playing. You don't want to have all of that. Well, the block feature here that I've been really happy with, honestly, stops the auto playing. I also like it because, for example, if I go to um, YouTube and uh, click a video, it doesn't auto play. It waits for me to click the play button for that video to really start. It's, you know, it's something that I kind of like. Um, it's, it's kind of cool to have that. I like that capability. It's nice to see that. And um, it's kind of nice to, to, to have that blocked automatically, honestly. Um, so, you know, you can search in the address bar. You can search and change your search provider in the address bar. So, uh, for example, I could go here and set as default. Now, I, that means that now when I search up here in the address bar, I'll have uh, Google. It's nice that they let us customize because honestly, that's what people want. Um, and, you know, it's an okay browser, I guess, but it's not getting there, unfortunately. So, uh, of course, better menus and uh, kind of a better utilization of, of reading of ebooks and all sorts of things is what's interesting in Edge. There's no real big front facing feature in Edge that you will just like go like, wow, this is what I want to use from now on. But they're working on it. They're trying to improve it. Uh, it obviously feels good now uh, compared to the fact that it was and it felt unfinished when Windows 10 three years ago was uh, there. But um, I don't know. It's uh, I don't think it's going to change anything for Microsoft Edge browser. Yeah, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.